Hello coffee lovers, Ekrem from City Roast here. I just want to make a, a quick video uh, where I'm gonna make two flat whites. One with uh, my regular machine, uh, my regular steamer, and one with the Nanoformer Pro. By now you have all probably heard about the Nanoformer Pro and a lot of people have uh, purchased it. Uh, I got asked a lot of uh, if it's really this amazing and uh, can it make uh, the same microphone as the as the regular steamer. Uh, so I just want to make a video with the two coffees, one made by regular steamer and one with Nanoformer Pro. Uh, for these coffees I'm going to use organic 1.5% uh, fat uh, milk, cow milk and for that purpose I will use the black flow control you get three different flow controls the black one is for regular milk cow milk and the, the two uh, the, the green and the blue one are for uh, alternative milks such as uh, uh, oat milk and stuff like that uh, first i will make a coffee with the regular steamer let's do it So here comes the first one. Oh, a little bit shaky hands. Let me just quickly show you how it looks. This is the first one. I hope that you can see the two lines, minimum and maximum. I will be pouring the milk in between the lines. So, and the Nanoformer Pro has five different programs. You can choose them by pushing this button here. And uh, it is important to, to play around and uh, test different amounts of milk and different program, programs. I have found out when I use this um, uh, amount of milk in between, the lines, uh, the second program is pretty good for uh, for latte art milk, such as uh, milk for flat, flat whites, cortadas and stuff like that. So this is what I will do. There we go. Now we need, need to put the lid on and make sure it's tight. And let's go with while the nanoformer is uh, making uh, its magic I will make a coffee so it's done and the coffee is almost ready it's a good idea to use the milk as soon as it's uh, done so the milk doesn't separate uh, and always transfer the milk to your favorite jug. This will also help the milk to be homogenized. And uh, let's make the pour. bit shaky today so here you can see the milk guys it's actually the same if the, uh, as the first one if you can remember it this was the first one but uh, now it's it's uh, been standing there for a couple of minutes so it looks a bit dry not the best heart hearts that I have made but this is a video with no editing so and here you can see the, the foam. I could maybe have used program number three. Then I would have gotten a little thicker foam, but still a nice shiny microphone. And uh, let's see the other one. 
see this is a slightly thicker so this uh, didn't turn out uh, quite how I wanted it let me make another one on the program number three instead so I wasn't 100% uh, satisfied with the milk uh, that I got before and uh, this is why I'm saying you need to play around you need to get to know your nano foamer pro uh, according to your milk that you're using and the amount of milk uh, so the more milk you use you have to use the bigger number uh, so right now I will try to use the same amount of milk that I used before in between the lines and now instead of number two I will use program number three and uh, this should still give me a nice microphone but the foam should be a little bit thicker so let's let's do that I'll start the nano foamer number three and now let's make the copy So my coffee is finished and did you hear that when it says okay then uh, you have a temperature about 55 degrees I give it like three four seconds more then I will get a temperature about 60 and uh, when it stops by itself then it, it has reached a temperature about 65 degrees now use it right away give it a swirl Transfer it to your favorite jug and this one looks a little bit thicker. This is what I wanted Now let's make a pour. I hope that I don't shake as much as before Ah, It was a little shake but let me show you this one guys I hope that you can see it check out the foam here much thicker and the only difference was that I used program number three and this is actually how I like the milk nice smooth combined shiny and uh, great for uh, pouring uh, latte art so yeah uh, conclusion is uh, the nano foamer pro when you get to know it it can actually make a, a decent milk actually the same as with uh, with your regular steamer so what do you think about it uh, this uh, comparison would you buy it that's the big question write in the comments below